Welcome back. This weekend, the Ashland New Plays Festival gives us a peek behind the curtain of a translation in process of the classic Hamlet. Mm -hmm. Joining us this morning to talk about the process of adapting Shakespeare for modern audiences are Jackie Apodaca, Artistic Director for the festival, and Stephen Sapp, the director of this presentation. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Now, Jackie, I'll start with you. Uh, for those of us that might be unfamiliar with the Ashland New Plays Festival, what can you tell us about the opportunities that it gives playwrights? Ah, yeah. Well, we're a local professional theater company. We've been around for over 30 years here in the Rogue Valley. And our mission is to support playwrights and to bring new works to the valley. Um, our big flagship event is our annual Fall Festival, which is a playwriting competition in which we bring the winning plays of the national competition to Ashland and support those playwrights throughout the week. Very nice. Now, Stephen, yes. uh, this weekend you're directing this presentation. Yes. Uh, what would you say sets this production apart from a more traditional one? Um, what we've been doing, and my company is uh, called Universes, and we were commissioned um, to sort of do this translation on Hamlet. We're really looking at um, changing it from, to some contemporary language. So some of the younger characters will be speaking more contemporary and the older ones will speak more Shakespearean speech. And um, we're adding music in certain places. We're really looking at more of what was the environment around mm -hmm. Hamlet, more than just the angst of Hamlet. <laughs> what was going on around Hamlet besides his father dying and things of that nature to make him sort of go crazy slowly throughout the production. So we're really looking at that. We're doing about half of the, the, the play as a reading, um, just to really kind of look at specific scenes and sort of deconstructed them, like I said, adding music, contemporary speak, um, things of that nature. So it's been fun. We've been in the room for about a couple of days now, and it's been exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sounds fun, but also sounds like a challenge. <laughs> yes, it is. I mean, it's, it's to really kind of deconstruct language. It's exciting, extremely hard. Um, and we have great actors in the room, so all that combination in the room is actually really exciting and fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now, Stephen, beyond your work with the Ashland New Plays Festival, mm -hmm. um, can you tell us about any other projects that you're working on? Um, we have a big, huge project coming out of Chicago called In the Beginning Was House on the Birth of House Music. Wow. Um, so we've been hanging out with all these house music legends in Chicago for the past year. Um, and the Frankie Knuckles Foundation, so that's, we have a big reading at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. And then next year, my company celebrates 25 years as a company. Oh, congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And now, Jackie, um, can you give us kind of a little preview of what we can expect uh, this October for your fall festival? Oh, absolutely. So like I mentioned before, that's our big flagship event of the year. And it's been around again for over 30 years where we have uh, take submissions. We've got 350 submissions for of new plays this year. <laughs> wow. uh, the plays are being read by about 60 local uh, members of our community as the adjudicators of the plays and they choose 12 finalists from the 350 for which I have the privilege of choosing the four winners so it's like a 1% chance for these playwrights to to make it in and we bring the playwrights to Ashland present their works in readings like the one that we're presenting this week and give the community a chance to talk to contemporary new playwrights um, about their work. That must be so hard to be able to choose between all of those oh different gosh. works. Well for me I only am seeing the top 12 chosen by this big group of readers, really active, opinionated readers. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm um, getting to choose from 12 fantastic plays and just choose 12 that, or four that I think will work well together for our community in the fall. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, last question goes out to both of you guys. Mm -hmm. um, anything else that we didn't cover that you'd like to be sure and mention this morning? Mm. Well, I, I'll just mention Play On again, Stephen. You yeah. mentioned them, but um, this event, this uh, event of Hamlet, came about uh, with uh, Louis Douthat, who's the president of Play On, coming forward and saying, "We'd really like to work with you, AMPF, you know, and with universes to to." really look at this play with a new perspective. Uh, and it's exciting to think of Shakespeare as a new play because with Stephen's company and the way that they're deconstructing it, it's really a, a chance for us to think about the classic themes and the classic material, but through a modern and contemporary voice. Absolutely, yeah. really exciting stuff. Yes, it is. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thank you. Um, as Jackie and Steven said you guys have opportunities to see Hamlet this weekend at the SOU Main Stage Theater. For more information on this production and the rest of the Ashland New Plays Festival season, visit ashlandnewplays.org. Once again, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank, thank you. you. We'll be right back.